Hello everyone, my name is Ajupa and welcome back to a, another video to show you guys how to set up a ESX 5M server in literally just a couple of minutes. So all you guys need to do, hit the first link down in the description below, that'll bring you guys right here to the 5M artifacts download page. This is where we get all the basic files we need to get going with our ESX 5M server. So ignore everything at the top right here, we're just going to click the download button right here, this blue little download button, click that because these are literally completely outdated and haven't been changed in ages because the latest optional version is not 7290 it is like 8052 so yeah they're miles off but once you guys have downloaded that it's going to come as a zip so just open it on up with winrar or 7zip or if you don't have any of those and you don't want to install one then just extract it to a folder on your desktop pretty simple pretty easy once you guys have done that what you guys need to do is select where you want to create your 5M server. Now I would select exactly where you want because it does make a pain in the butt if you guys want to change your 5M server location again, because it'll sort of mess up a bunch of things with your file locations. So select where you want it and then stick with it. So I'm gonna do it on my desktop. That's usually where I recommend people doing it. So right click, new folder and call it whatever you want. I'm gonna just do ESX YT. And then inside of this folder, we're going to create a, another folder and we're going to call this one server files and this folder is where we're going to place all of these right here so open that folder on up the server files folder grab the download zip control a to select everything and drag and drop it into this server files folder we're done with this zip now so we can just close this on down bring back up our server files folder and scroll on down a little bit until we find this ready pink exe the fx server.exe we're going to double click that to start our server on up for the first time and begin the setup process so just double click that usually your windows antivirus is going to ask you if you're sure you want to run it just hit run anyway and then it should pop up with a little window and then in a couple of seconds it's going to bring up a panel called TX admin on our browser. If we wait a couple of seconds, there you guys go. It's gonna automatically pop up with this browser and automatically fill in this pin for you. Then it, all you need to do from here is click link account, and then it's gonna automatically link it with your cfx.re account. Now, if you don't have one of these, you'll definitely need to make one. So make sure you guys do that because your cfx.re is literally your official 5M account. So make sure you create one and then click continue. From here, it's gonna ask you to create a backup password. This is quite important, so make sure you guys do remember your backup password, because just in case you do get logged out of your TX admin account or your TX admin server and your CFX.re account, then this is gonna be the way that you can log in without that. Then just hit register, and then it's gonna bring you to the main setup page. From here, just hit next, and this is going to be our server name. So call it whatever you guys want. This is gonna be what actually shows in the 5M server list. So I'm just going to do ESXYT. So I know this is my YouTube tutorial ESX server, but you guys can call it whatever you would like. Then from here, hit next. And this is a crucial step. And do not stray from these instructions. What you're going to do is select popular recipes. And then this guy right here, ESX Legacy. Do not select anything else. For some reason, you guys always seem to stray away from that. And then you get confused. Select ESX Legacy right here. And then hit save. Do not change your data location. Do not mess with that. And then hit save. And then just before we go to recipe deployer, I know it's a tempting big green button. You guys need to hit the next link down in the description below. And that's going to bring you guys right here to XAMP. Now XAMP is your database for your server. Now because your servers like QBCore and ESX are a little bit more complicated than a standard maybe vMenu based server, they require a database. Now this database will store all your information, such as your so your economy aspect, your housing, your vehicle garages, and things like that. It just needs that database to basically function. So make sure you guys click download right here on XAMP, and then it will automatically download for you. And all you guys need to do is run the EXE that will download. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I don't really need to show you guys how to do that. It's just a simple EXE. Double click to run it, and then follow the instructions it gives you. And once you guys have installed the XAMP application, you're going to want to run it as administrator. So search for XAMP in your taskbar, right click on it, and then run as administrator. 
Just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.one, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.one, and you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles, custom maps, custom menus, literally everything you guys can need, and you literally did not have to do anything. So check that out down in the description below www.hcnetwork.one next amp control panel now my apache and my sql is already running but yours probably isn't so i'll stop it just for the video and all you guys need to do is hit start on my sql and start on apache you do not need filezilla or mercury or tomcat started ignore those completely irrelevant and then from here we're going to make sure this stays open you do not want to close these every time you start your server up Apache and MySQL need to be started first, and XAMP needs to be running as administrator. From here, go back to your TX admin console, and now we can click go to recipe deployer. We can just scroll through this. If you want to check it, you can, but it's basically going to be the mods it's automatically installing for you. Hit next, and then this is where people get a little bit lost. So we're going to have to enter a key. So hit this little hyperlink right here to take you to the Keymaster website and sign in with the same cfx.re account we signed into to link our txadmin 5m server. Hit sign in, it's gonna automatically sign you in if you've already signed in on the forums. And then from here, you guys are gonna see I have a bunch of keys already. You guys will probably have none if you have never set up a server before or maybe a different one. Now, if you guys have set up a server before and you're not planning on running both of your servers at the same time, you can just use your same key. You do not have to use different keys and use a different key each time. They are not IP locked or server locked. As long as the other server isn't running at the same time, you can use the same key. So just select the ID and then copy the key. But if you guys do need to create a new key, I'm just going to delete this one right here because I need to show you guys how to make a key. And you can only have three active at a time. Hit new server. For your display name, mine's going to be HTN ESX. Then for your initial server IP address, this is where people get a little bit lost. This needs to be your IPv4 address. No one else's, it needs to be your IPv4 address. So to find that, it's quite simple. Usually you can find it on the back of your router or just go onto Google and search what is my IPv4 address. And you guys can see there's a website right here and you can just go into this website and then you can copy your IPv4 address. So just go into the website, it's going to give you your IPv4 address right here. We're going to select that, control C, go back to our key master and paste it on in right here. And then from here, we're going to select a server type, other and home hosted. Which server provider are we using? We'll just put home. It really doesn't matter what you put here. Do the I'm not a robot and generate yourself a server key. And just like that, we are done. Hit copy for your key. Go back to TX admin and paste your key into your license key box. From here, we can hit run recipe and then it will start executing the recipe for you. Now, if you skipped the XAMP step, then this isn't gonna work. It's gonna tell you that it cannot connect to a database and it cannot install things. So make sure you guys did actually do that and everything should be fine. And if it does tell you guys that your IP doesn't match, usually it's because your Wi-Fi has a dynamic IP address. You can just turn that off in your Wi-Fi settings and then come back to it again. Okay, so once that is done, it's gonna pop up with your server directory in your file explorer. We can just close that on down and we can go back to our TX admin and then we hit next. Right here is gonna be your server.cfg, which is basically a simple way of putting it. It is your server settings. So here you can figure basically everything to do with your server itself, including the name. So usually I like to delete these parts right here. If you guys have named your server something, you don't really want the ESX legacy on the end. And same with your product description, you can change it to whatever you want. I usually just copy my server name. Obviously you guys can change it to literally anything you want. Don't mess with any of this here. You don't really need to. And obviously here you can add yourself as admin, but that's going to be done automatically for you. From here, we can just hit save and run server. And then we are done. Just like that, we have set ourselves up a ESX server in just a couple of minutes. Pretty easy and pretty simple, right? And now if we minimize back to where we created our server and we open our server folder on up, you're going to see this guy right here. The start default.bat. Now in the future, whenever you need to start your 5M server on up, you just double click this to start it on up, making sure that your MySQL and Apache are started before doing so. Otherwise it won't work and you probably cannot join your server. So make sure that you do that. Start it up by here 
And now we can, can connect to our 5M server. So to do that, just like normal, we're going to boot up our 5M application. It's going to load up just like it normally would. And then just under play, you should see this new button right here. Connect to the name of your PC on LAN. And that is going to be our 5M server. We can just click that and we can get connecting. But if you guys don't have that, don't worry. Sometimes 5M is a little bit slow to provide you that. You should get it eventually, but you can still connect by just pressing F8 on your keyboard. It'll bring out this little menu and then type connect. If I can type local and then host and then just press enter. And it's also going to start connecting you to your 5M server. Local host means a server hosted on your own PC. And that's how you can do it. Your friends can also do it by pressing F8, typing connect and then your IP address. As long as you guys have port forwarded, which is how your friends can join. But you need to watch my video on port forwarding first. And just like that, we have loaded into our ESX server. Here you can create your character, literally whatever you guys want. We'll just do a bunch of random things. Select your date of birth, whatever you guys want again. Yeah, that's definitely my date of birth. And then we'll do a height. We'll be male. And then we click create. And then it'll pop up with your character creation. Just create your character however you want. Press enter to continue. And there you guys go. You will spawn in to your 5M server. Press pause. You can see all of the new applications on your map right here for all of your ESX goodies and jobs and banks and stuff like that. So be sure to go check these out and learn how to use your server. That's always good. Don't just expect for it all to be super easy. You do have to do a little bit of learning. I know it's so difficult, but just like that, you guys are done and you will have a fully set up ESX 5M server. But if you guys did want to install a bunch of mods and get improving this server so you guys can compete with the likes of maybe no pixel, then make sure you guys turn on that notification bell and subscribe for my future videos to come. Go to check out my new website, hgnetwork.one, down in the description below. If you guys are looking to set up a 5M server, you can literally have a fully modded 5M server in just a few clicks. Other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.